When's Hat? Thursday? Thursday. Is it Thursday? It is Thursday. It is Thursday. <laughs> oh, man, already losing days. Yeah. They've only been back out this week. Yeah. Well, Jason just got our first inspection. We ain't even got 5,000 miles on the truck yet, and I got an inspection. No, we got picked up. Yeah. Well, let's, let's tell you about the low first. Yeah. So we picked up in um, Alabama. We're heading to West Virginia. It's like a little over 800 miles loaded. And we, our deadhead was, what was our deadhead? Like 100, 185 miles. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> we got picked up one piece at 260 pounds. We're getting some heavy ones. We're, we're putting that double <laughs> axle to use. Which we knew that. We, I mean, that's the majority of our loads are small. You guys yeah, know most, that. Yeah, most of our freight is small. But so. we were going to stop at this rest area anyway and do our driver swap. And he passed some troopers. They were on a, an off ramp or a entrance ramp to the freeway and i seen them when we passed them and sure enough pulled jason over for a level three inspection passed yeah how do you fail that one <laughs> it, it was a mostly just paperwork though yeah it was level, level three, three yeah just checked all our paperwork made sure um everything was in order all that Check had my logs. yeah had my logs emailed or sent to him or faxed to him or whatever and he went through my logs make sure i was a uh, compliant yeah they check your license your permits all that yeah registration yeah. but yeah. we good we good we good we didn't get a sticker because i don't think they give you a sticker when you get level one no i think it's just level ones yeah. yeah yeah not that that sticker really means anything because we've gotten an inspection got a sticker and the next week get another inspection yeah so. <laughs> same week what do you mean oh yeah true yeah we've true. gotten one the same week before yeah and then here we, let me give you a new sticker uh it is a new sticker <laughs> yeah so uh, oh my gosh it's a little cold and gloomy here but yeah we uh we're gonna do our driver swap i just made my coffee i let the yeah, babies out yeah and we have another load lined up, but it's not picking up till next week. Till next week, So yeah. it'll be in the next yeah. vlog. Yeah. But we decided to go ahead and take it because we didn't even realize that Monday is President's Day. But it, it gives us a little bit of time. Uh, one thing I did notice is uh, in the box, we got some water leakage going on. Yeah, I think it's from when they put the solar panels on. That's what it Something. looks like in this that but section. That's going to give me a chance to uh, play with my new automatic cock gun <laughs> oh yeah jason got him a, a i got a battery one. a battery operated cock gun it's a milwaukee milwaukee, a milwaukee, milwaukee yeah <laughs> yeah so i'll, I'll get toys. up there yeah i'll get the ladder out get up there and cock that and maybe i mean we'll have plenty of time this weekend maybe i'll install that other the other fan the other and fan and in the, yeah. the bathroom fan so yeah. we can have that installed and, and we're um so we've got our landstar logos which they sent those to us yeah and we wanted to do i say custom but we really just wanted to do a different color on the logo different color and font right but when we called to get it okay we can't change the font but we can change the color so yeah yeah they're gonna let us change the color on it so we'll probably work on that this weekend too. yeah i brought my uh, cricket with us so i can do the vinyl for and got the vinyl and everything so you'll see that when we do it but yeah, yeah. we might probably work on that this weekend just get caught up on getting back into videoing gotta get caught up on editing we got Finally got caught up, I think, on emails and I still got quite a bit of emails to go through. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. We always get a lot of emails. We get caught up and then we get a ton more and oh my gosh. Yeah. Crazy. All but, right. All right. Well Jump I'm gonna get, get out, do my pre trip and get going. Knock some miles out. We deliver this in the morning. Hey. Oh. What do y'all they haven't got their treats yet. What do y'all We want our treats. Where's our treats? Where's our treats? We were good babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll All give right. them treats, you do your pre trip. All right. All right. Friday. I know in West Virginia. No, 
Are we in West Virginia? Yes, we are in West Virginia. We <laughs> delivered in West Virginia. We're on the 68 at a rest area. We delivered in West Virginia, drove through Maryland, and now we're back in West Virginia. Yeah. I don't know how that happens. I hate this highway. I know. I-68. Oh my gosh, it's so much up and down and up and down. It's just annoying. Oh, yeah, and it's snowing. The roads are clear. It's cold. I mean, but it's cold and it's snowing. But we got our delivery done. That took like over an hour. Yeah. Well, we sat there for an hour before they even came to get us offloaded. But yeah, that just happens, you know, some places. I know some people wait long times to get unloaded at some of these distribution centers. Yeah. I heard horror stories. Yeah, we're all complaining and moaning about our one hour time. I know. <laughs> we're not well, real truck drivers. We don't know what real wait time yeah, is. Yeah, it just seems like we're both <coughs> tired. So, of course, that just makes it seem longer than it yeah. is when you're waiting. Yeah, it's been a whip uh, getting back into the groove of it. Well, shoot. Our first two in the books. Yes. But it's been a whip getting back into our routine, our schedule, our drive, our... Yeah, it's it's, just... it's always like that, especially after being not. I keep saying off for forty five days, I got doing this. no loads for forty five days, and yeah. not really having to be up at a certain time. Like yeah. there was days. Of course, every day we were up early just because we had so much to do, but we didn't have to be up. You know, when you don't have to be up, you're up early. But when you have to be up, you want to sleep you in. That's sleep how in. it you works. You stay up way late the I night know. before, and then you just want to sleep in. And well, you know, too, being while the time we were swapping trucks, we were both going to bed at night at the yeah. same time. We yeah. one of us wasn't driving while the other one yeah. was sleeping. But, so you got to yeah. get back into that routine yeah. and. Yeah. Oh man, Heather bought a new pillow. I did. It's a bamboo. For the new truck, yeah. a bamboo pillow. Yeah. I mean, it, it's amazing. I'm going. I'm going to back to get me one. <laughs> we got them at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and it. Beyond. And now pillows are a tricky thing. You know, they I could are. I could tell you, oh, this is the best pillow in the world, and you go buy it and you absolutely hate it because everybody has their own unique. What your own comfort they have through our side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper, um, you like hard pillows, soft pillows, fluffy pillows. So, but I think me and Heather kind of have a similar, yeah. uh, like, like in what we, what we like. And I like a firmer pillow. I, I don't like, like a real soft pillow where my head just sinks all the way down in it. I like a firm pillow, not super soft. It has some give, but firm. Right. And usually when you, you know, it's like you said, it's hard to pick a pillow because you can feel it in the store and it feels really firm or it says extra super duper rooper firm <laughs> and it's not firm. Yeah. So, but I found this one yeah. at Bed Bath & Beyond and so far so good. It, it's nice. Yeah. And how much you spend on it? Like 30, 40 bucks. 30, 40 expensive. bucks for a pillow. I spent $220 on a down pillow at Bed Bath & Beyond and I love that pillow, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but now I've had it so long that it's gotten to the point where I'm having to fold it in half to give my <laughs> head enough support. So it's like... Uh, well, because we're both pretty much side sleepers. Yeah. And, you know, usually a side sleeper, you want a firmer pillow. But on these two runs, I've been using her pillow, and I am in love with it. Yeah. Okay, so between the nice shifting of the new Cascadia... <laughs> The new uh, mattress that we got that's better than the sleep dog and her pillow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh After gosh. using the mattress for a little bit longer, testing it out, we'll do a full review on it. Well, once they're ready, they're, they're not they're, even yeah, ready to sell them Yeah, they're not even ready yet. for total production, but. Yeah, we got but, like a pre-production model. Yeah, so. so, but oh my gosh, so far it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, amazing. it's even better than the sleep dog and the it sleep was, dog was yes, good. Yes. So, we loved our sleep dog. We did. We love this more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can't wait till they they're ready to start selling them to you guys. I know. I'm telling you, you will love it. They're awesome. You will love it. And I've never been really a, a memory foam type of mattress person. And the mattresses that come in like the bolts when we bought our bolt, that was a good mattress, but mm -hmm. not for driving down the road. Well, it's got springs in it, yeah. and it's like that is if you're driving down the road with a spring mattress, it's so <clears throat> See, 
it's comfortable if you're just sitting yeah. and sleeping on yeah. it, but yeah. going down the road, it's yeah. it's just not. I mean, it's, but some people may like that. I don't know. Us, we don't. Yeah, like I said, everybody's different. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say you were talking about the shifting. Oh my gosh, like I've been in traffic the last all this week with on my shift. I've gotten into traffic whether it was in Tennessee yeah. last night. I yeah. yeah, last night in Tennessee through Chattanooga, I got through in some traffic, but. Man, the shifting in our M2 in traffic, it, woke it was me up. like so jerky. Shit, no matter how soft I was on the pe the pedal, <laughs> but this one, oh my gosh! I'd wake up. What's going on up there? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the shifting on this one, man, it's oh, nice. Didn't wake me up one bit. This there whole week. is a little bit of something going on with the going up the hills, though. It don't have enough power getting up the hills. Yeah. So we're empty. We are heavier than the old truck, and I get that, but... <laughs> but not that. We're, we're empty. Where we're losing, the, well, we were going up a hill here, and granted, there's a big a big grade, but to lose 12 miles per hour in cruise, that doesn't, something's, something's, and it's probably just us learning. There's different modes on this truck. Yeah. So we're trying to learn that. We need to talk to somebody who has one of these and yeah, yeah. Get, get a low down on. But we move. will be passing through uh, Columbus. So if we need to stop through FIDA this weekend. Speaking of, check out the shirt that we got oh. when we were there getting our oh, truck. Yeah. I got Boom. one too, yeah. FIDA Braid Liner <laughs> representing. Yeah, Jason's in a collared shirt. Can you believe it? Yeah. I know. Take a picture, it'll last longer. I know, fancy, fancy. But we are both gonna lay down for a little bit and just take yeah. a little bit of a nap. Yeah, yeah. We Our next load does not pick up until Tuesday, so you'll find out about in the next vlog. The rest of this vlog will just be us uh, deadheading to get closer. We're picking up in Indiana. See what kind of trouble we can get into along the way. <laughs> yeah, Jason wants to stop and get an MD alignment. MD alignment, I got an appointment uh, in Indianapolis for an MD alignment. We had them do it on the M2 a while back and um, I, I, I just like their service they did. So if they do another good <laughs> job on this one, I'll, we'll link their names up. Uh, well, not up here because this is gonna be another video, but <laughs> yeah. I'll give them a shout out for sure because I really liked them. They did, yeah. they do a good job. Those MD alignments are way, way the best. Yeah. Let's go nap. All right, catch up with you guys later. Saturday. Happy Saturday from Indianapolis at the Blue Beacon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got to get our first uh, truck maintenance wash. Yeah. Running up there in uh, West Virginia got oh, her dirty. She is filthy. Nasty oh my dirty. Gosh. Everything you touch, you get that white salt stuff on your hands. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Ugh, gross. She, yeah, she needs a bath bad. Plus, we want to get that Rain-X on her because... Yeah. That seemed to help when it, we did it with the last truck. We did it every single uh, truck wash with the last truck, and I always got the, the Rain-X at the Blue Beacon, and it, it helped protect the paint quite really good, it seems. So. And it helps keep it, yeah, not get as dirty, I think. Yeah, it helps. It helps. Kind of. <laughs> Going up in this crap weather in the north, it's uh, when yeah. it salt they salt the roads yeah. and the snow. Yeah. It's yeah. just bleh. so we're gonna do like the undercarriage wash, get the rain eggs, you get know, the works. The, you get the works. Yeah. Curious to see how much this one's gonna cost. Yeah, with the extra axle. I don't know if they charge more for having an extra axle, but I know every time we've gone before, they always ask, is it a one axle or a two axle? So yeah. I thought that it was just they charge by size, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. How I mean, it's the it same costs. size truck, just bigger sleeper, less box. So we'll, looked, we'll see. That looked like Bubba Loba. <laughs> did it? It did kind of. I don't know what kind of van he drives. I though. think he drives a Dodge. Does he really? Yeah. It sure looked like him. Maybe it probably wasn't, but yeah. it sure it, it may like be. Him. This is his stomping ground. Yeah, Bubba Loba. He's a van driver. Yeah, he drives cargo van. <laughs> But yeah, we are gonna get our truck washed and then we're gonna go 
park at the Flying J across the highway here. Yeah. I think we're gonna relax the rest of the day today. I gotta do some editing. Gotta I'm do, some, do some, editing some editing and stuff, but, but then tomorrow we're gonna be tackling some projects on the truck. Yeah, get a few things done. Yeah, and... the weather's gonna be permitting, I think up in the 40s, mid 40s, so warm enough to go ahead and tackle some projects. Yes. So. Yeah. yeah. Got to do it when you got the downtime, yeah. you know, and when the weather's decent at it's, least. It's funny, just cuz it's a new truck don't mean uh don't There's mean don't mean that <laughs> owner operator maintenance things projects uh end, you right, know. Right, that's Especially true. Especially when you got a honeydew list that she makes. It's oh my gosh. That's right. That's right. Always got stuff for me to do. <laughs> It's stuff for us to do. It's not just true, for true, you. True, true, true. It's not, he makes it sound like I have You're a, a drill just, sergeant. I, I am a drill sergeant. <laughs> do it. I just want to do it and get it done. It's yeah. like I, if I know that stuff needs to be done, I just want to do it and get it done. Yeah. I hate procrastinating, like, even like, though we oh, do procrastinate week. on stuff. Next weekend. I know. We'll do it next weekend, then we're running next weekend. I, and that's what happens, right? So if you don't do it while you have the time, usually it gets a put off even longer. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't wait to uh, see her all sparkly and shiny again. Yeah, yeah, it should be looking pretty good. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's what's up, guys. Keep, keep y'all updated, and we'll see what we get into tomorrow. Yeah. Happy Sunday, fun day. Fresh and clean. Just finished showering. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, we made it to Indy <coughs> yesterday. Got our truck washed. Man, she's looking good. Not really. Blue Beacon missed a bunch of spots. We're going to go back there tomorrow <laughs> and make them redo because on the toolbox, a the generator, there's all kinds of... It looks better than it did, for it sure. It looks better than the, it did, the, but... All the white looks good. It's just, it. yeah, on some of the toolboxes and fuel tank, there's still some... But for eight, $88, they need to make that yeah. look good. So it was only 10 extra dollars for having the extra axle, which ain't bad. No. So I thought they were just going to be like, oh, that's an extra $50 or... Yeah. So and, that was pretty cool. And we pretty much got the works other than they don't do tire shine there. We would have got that too. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We got all that done. And then after the truck wash, which is like right across the highway from where that the Flying J in Indy, the one that burnt down years ago and they rebuilt it. Years ago, yeah. <laughs> But we were pulling in trying to find a parking spot and we seen two people walking toward us like and you can we can usually tell when somebody's like walking toward us they got with, big old smiles with on their the, face yeah so. with the with intent to come see us and <laughs> and yeah but kate and dan they do straight truck expediting and they we actually got them into this and now they just bought their own truck. Yep, they're which, running for FedEx, yeah. doing dry box uh, stuff at FedEx, but they're loving it. You know? uh, it was so good meeting them. They took us out to dinner last night and it was great just visiting with them and hearing their story and yeah, wish them yeah. the best of luck and hope, yeah. oh my gosh, their dog Bradley. <laughs> it's a Corgi German Shepherd mix. So, and he is Boom! Oh my gosh. He's big, yeah. like buff. He's got like the German Shepherd body and the, the corgi, corgi legs. short legs. <laughs> He's so cute, so friendly. We got to his see little him. front paws like stick out like I that. Know. Uh, so cute. It, it was pretty so cute. cute. Yeah. 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 So that was last night, and then today we've just been getting some stuff done. Jason got up on the roof and um, put some uh, sealant around the solar panels. Yep. They, they they didn't do a very good job. Yeah. And so I sealed it up real good and because we had had some water dripping down inside not a whole lot but it was enough to drive me well there shouldn't be any water coming inside so no. yeah so i got up there and i mean i know a lot of people are going to be thinking well 
that's a new truck. He shouldn't be having to do that. <laughs> and I mean, it is what it is. You know, it, they didn't do a perfect job. They did a great job. You yeah. know, it's just it just wasn't perfect. So, and what do I do? Take it back to the shop and go sit in the shop for a day and wait for them to fix it, or just when it's something we can do ourselves. Just jump up. It took me thirty minutes. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it, here's the thing. Even with a new truck or new vehicle, it's never perfect. It's There's never always going to be something. Yeah. And if it's something small that we can do ourselves, <laughs> even with our Airstream, there's, you know, we have a warranty on that. But if it's something small, little thing we can do, we just do it. Why yeah, yeah, have to yeah. go sit up at the dealership or leave your Airstream or leave your <clears> truck, <throat> whatever. Right, so right, right. That's why. <laughs> it's, yeah. But, um, oh, it's you just may like caulking the shower. I mean. Oh, yeah. Somebody. It doesn't said, have to be done. No, it, it doesn't. It, but, it, but there's uh, and I'll show a video probably later next week or something. But. It's just got a small, tiny little gap where there's a rubber gasket. They don't caulk it there. They rubber use a rubber gasket. Now, I don't know if it's perfectly sealed or not, so I'm going to throw some caulking on it just to be double sure. You yeah, know? because we don't want water running under the floor and then ruining our floor yeah, of the sleeper. Yeah, or running so down in the wall. Or... Why not be proactive and alleviate any problems if we can? And what's a, a tube of caulk cost? Yeah. Three bucks, yeah, you know, bucks. and then the little yeah. time to do it. It's, yeah. yeah. Anybody who is owner operators or own their own truck or even your own home should understand that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, our brand new house, when we bought a house oh, many yeah. years ago, there was, you know, we had caulking issues and grout issues. And, yeah. You know. It's always something. So just yeah. because there's some little issue doesn't mean the place that built it is. Yeah, did it wrong yeah, you know yeah, there's always yeah. there's always something but man jason made us a good dinner he made us which you probably seen some b-roll of him making some avocado salmon it was a team effort though i made the asparagus although that was pretty easy i did it in the microwave <laughs> hashtag that salmon, he cooks yeah that salmon was the bomb we hadn't had that in a while yeah that's one of my we, favorite we, we did a video on how to make that i'll link it up above if i yeah, can yeah, find yeah. it that yeah. was a long time ago long so the quality of that ago. video is probably not great but yeah, yeah. you did videos yeah. making that it was really yeah. good if yeah. you like salmon and avocado you definitely should try it because yeah. it's really good yeah yeah but yeah, we are going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Yep. We don't pick up our next load till Tuesday, so that'll be in the next vlog. We're going to go get an alignment tomorrow, which will take you guys along. Why are you getting an alignment on a new truck? <laughs> <laughs> you, I think you kind of explained that in the last clip. Did I? And, and if you didn't, we'll explain it when we start the next vlog, okay? Yeah, cool. So stay tuned. Yeah. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Hi. What you doing? You gotta say peace, love, and expediting. Don't you peace, love, and expediting? They, <laughs> that's all they do is lay in this truck on the bed and just be lazy. They got such a hard life, I tell ya. Don't ya? It's a rough life. Such a hard life. Rough life being a uh, puppies of the a crafty, crafty chihuahua. A crafty chihuahua. <laughs> oh, bud. Oh, man. You look comfy.